Hey guys, it's Luke with SixPackSmackdown.com and who's ready for a cheat meal? Uh, not really. Um, it's going to seem like a cheat meal because we're going to make some healthy chili cheese french fries. So what you're going to need for this recipe is a potato. I have a red potato that I already peeled. If you have Idaho potato, whatever, whatever you got laying around, grab the biggest one you can find. Um, I got some fat-free cheddar, shredded cheese. I have a batch, it's a little bit left, I made the uh, Muscle Tech Chili recipe, it's on the blog, I linked to it in the post, so I have some of that left over. I got some plain, non-fat Greek yogurt, and then I have some seasoned salt and some uh, Southwest salt-free seasoning, pick your favorite seasonings. I also have a little bit, just like a, not even quite a tablespoon of olive oil that we're going to be using. So to get started, we're going to get our oven preheating up to 425. Cutting board, potato, I'm going to cut it in half a long way. And we're going to make some french fries. And we're going to get these pretty thin because it just reduces the cooking time. I don't like to sit around and wait. I like a crispier french fry. So I'm going to cut them into thin little slices. I'm going to cut my finger. Okay. And don't be afraid to just toss off the rounded end, they don't cut very well, and you don't need to eat that many french fries. So, off that potato, I got four slices, you, know, you can see they're pretty thin, just slices. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just lop off the rounded edges, toss those to the side, so I can keep my fries as uniform as possible. So I'm going to do that to each one of these, just lop off the edges. You kind of want to end up with semi-rectangular pieces like this. You can see those. So I'm going to do that to the last two. Now they're lopped off, I'm just going to cut these into french fries. Quarter of an inch thick. French fries, just little pieces of potato like that. So next, we're going to take our french fries and put them in this gallon Ziploc bag. If you watch the healthy, uh, healthy cheeseburger meal, uh, I did this same thing here. So put in your french fries into the bag, dump in your tablespoon, half tablespoon of olive oil, however much you want to use. You're not going to actually consume it all. Um, there's a lot going to be left in the bag. And then I'm going to use seasoned salt, but feel free to sprinkle whatever kind of seasoning in there that you want. Then what you're going to do is zip the bag up and then just crack the crack the end open and blow into it. Okay. And then you can shake it around. Coat the french fries with the oil and the salt. Alright, so next Grab yourself a pan and a piece of aluminum foil. Lay that down. Um, foil is not required, but it means less dishes, so that's why I use it. Dump out my fries, and you can see there's a ton of oil and residue left in the bag. So you could probably, I mean, we're probably getting a quarter of a tablespoon of olive oil here. So I'm just going to rearrange these so they're not touching and they're all laying flat. All right, and then these are just going to go into the oven at 425 until they look done. It's going to be about 20 minutes. So we'll pop these in there. Alright, so we'll set the timer. 20 minutes, we'll come back and we'll put the rest of the chili together. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back. The fries, uh, about two minutes left um, until they're done. Put them in there for 20 minutes, and they're looking like that's just about the right amount of time. So to get ready to finish the rest of this off, I'm going to take, oh, a good scoop or so of my Muscle Tech healthy chili that I had left over from maybe a day or two ago. I'm going to put that in this bowl, and I'm going to put some of this fat-free cheddar on top. I'm going to nuke that in the microwave you know, until it gets hot. So, some of that in there, cover it with a paper towel. Alright, while that's 
going. I'm going to top it with um, some Greek yogurt, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little spicy. I'm going to put this uh, McCormick Perfect Pinch Southwest salt-free seasoning in with it. So I'm going to take, uh, you know, just enough to, like you dollop sour cream on top of these fries. You know, maybe about a quarter of a cup. And then I'm just going to pour in some of this Southwest uh, Perfect Pinch stuff. Half teaspoon maybe, maybe a teaspoon, just enough to taste. You know, feel free to use fat-free sour cream too if you want. Um, Greek yogurt has a little bit more protein. I'll use a little bit more. Came up pretty good. So let me set this here. Alright, so let's arrange the french fries. Chili's done in the microwave. Check it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty warm. Perfect. So now we will scoop the chili onto the fries. Mm, even better the second day. And then Greek yogurt or fat-free sour cream, whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> when you mix this with the chili, <coughs> excuse me, um, it tastes like sour cream. Put that on there, and we're done. As far as fat and calories, um, no idea. Uh, <laughs> the amount of muscle tech chili I have here is arbitrary. If I had to guess, I would say, you know, in the probably in the two to three hundred calorie range. And we're probably looking in the twelve to twenty gram of protein range, um, depending on how you made your chili, if you use turkey or beef, there's not a lot of fat in this dish either. So let's bring the camera over and have a look at the healthy chili cheese fries using the Muscle Tech chili recipe. So this is what we end up with guys. It does not look like this should be on a healthy eating website. So I'm going to dig in. I uh, hope you guys give this a try. If you've never tried the Muscle Tech Chili, make it, and then you'll get two pretty neat meals out of this. So until next time, guys.